hello everybody and welcome uh, to this uh, great opportunity to share in the discussion and conversation uh, of course about EdTech transforming teaching and learning. Um, I'm here today representing Stranmilis University College. We're a leading university college uh, working with Queen's University of Belfast, a Russell Group research based university. Um, at Stranmilis University College, we are leading and cutting edge in terms of the teacher education programs that we offer. And of course, when it comes to conversations about ed tech, it is very important that we are part of that dialogue. So we're delighted today and thank Invest NI and colleagues for sharing uh, the opportunity with us. Um, and it is an opportunity. We've had challenges, as you've heard from uh, previous speakers, including Barry just before me. This, this has been my experience, in particular in working with 400 teachers. Those challenges are now uh, a potential opportunity, opportunities for technical capabilities in our education system, uh, not least in Northern Ireland and, of course, uh, Europe-wide. But as a global campus, we're very much about realizing the potential of those uh, education systems going forward. It's about realizing that opportunity, re-energizing, and, of course, reimagining and reforming uh, the platform for teachers uh, in the future. Every teacher in school has a responsibility to advance equality and, of course, a research-informed approach to teaching, including teaching with technologies. Technology could be the wings to allow our teachers and lecturers to fly higher and, of course, to fly wider than ever before. Uh, colleagues uh, will know in education that John Dewey in the past talked about teaching today, as we taught yesterday, is robbing our children and our young people and, of course, our teachers of a tomorrow. Um, ed tech may be the tomorrow, but I would argue good teaching, good pedagogy is the yesterday and the today that should inform any future classroom. Teachers and lecturers need to be empowered to make these decisions. The teacher is the most important part of the decision making in the learner's journey for ed tech. Next slide, please. I want to share with you in this slide a little bit of information about uh, Stranmilis, just so that everybody is informed today. At Stranmilis, uh, we're very, very much a global campus. Uh, we have a 48-acre estate right in the heart of Belfast City. And of course, we're delighted often to have that opportunity to share internationally and, of course, uh, regionally with our own students. We are known and renowned for initial teacher education and in-service teacher education, teaching and professional learning in the workplace. And of course, at this particularly challenging time, blended learning, remote teaching, homeschooling, and of course, as we emerge from this crisis, technology-enhanced learning have influenced our approach. We use a plat an internationally recognized platform called, called Canvas. This is a virtual learning environment. As leaders in this field, we are very keen to see and, of course, to share in the educational technology experience. Uh, Stranmilis University College, College has an established and long network of over 40 international exchange and education partners in 22 countries worldwide. Um, every year, around a third of our students enjoy life-changing experiences through the Erasmus Plus program, international and visit programs, while students coming to Stranmilis, our beautiful campus at the heart of the city, uh, through Erasmus Plus, Study USA, and of course, with the Institute for Study Abroad and international exchange programs, it is greatly adding to the college life, creating a truly global campus and, of course, community of learners. Uh, our virtual campus or online canva, canva system uh, extends that opportunity, extends that regional set of uh, university walls to a global platform. We have extensive experience of initial and in-service uh, developments inter-country and, of course, uh, in-country. Uh, one of those uh, very, very uh, important parts of our planning at Stramulus that we are very proud of. The pandemic has not stopped us. Next slide, please. The pandemic, if anything, has enlightened us. Due to our expertise in e-teaching and e-learning, 
we are committed to working online to extend our teacher education college walls to this global community. Indeed, during the pandemic, we felt socially responsible to reach out to our schools nationally and internationally with almost 400 practitioners, teachers working with us online from mid-March to enhance their teaching, to enhance the learning opportunities and to, of course, blend the learning using technology enhanced learning tools. Each practitioner teacher undertook a four week study program uh, with us using synchronous and asynchronous teaching opportunities. Of course, we teach live uh, using uh, many conference tools similar to the tools we're using today. Um, we also have pre-recorded capabilities and functionalities. And so it is very much about enlightening uh, others of the tools and the functions that are out there. Some of the practitioners who shared in that four week course during lockdown shared in that challenging experience and of course were supported by Stranmillis, uh, were from as far away as Thailand, Cyprus, Abu Dhabi, um, and very much part of our new community of practice going forward. Next slide, please. So as you can see, we are very much a teacher education, teacher led college. Uh, E-teaching, e-learning, e-assessment are key to the messages that we have today. And so as we come to a close in my contribution today, I welcome any uh, questions that colleagues might have at this point um, or at the end of the presentations. But I want to close with three key recommendations for us moving forward with this uh, conversation about the transformational side of educational technology. Our courses are for professional development, upskilling, and of course, uh, in-service or pre-service teacher education. Um, so even in preparation for teachers, we have opportunities for in-country professional development up to master's level. So three things I would suggest uh, going forward will help us as we uh, enter into this further dialogue to give our teachers and schools internationally their wings to fly higher and wider. All teachers need professional development that focuses on teaching over perhaps applications. Good teaching equals good learning equals good blended and technology enhanced teaching and learning. All teachers also secondly need e-tools and time to create an evidence-informed decision about the best approach for their pupils and their learners. And finally, all teachers need professional development, uh, final slide please, in research-informed approaches up to master's level. Let us all move forward from good practice to best practice together. And I'm, I'm delighted to share in that conversation or any questions as follows. I'm going to pass over now uh, to Michael, who's going to continue the conversation.